one thing that always amazes me is the amount of uh, sort of stones and sharp pieces of glass and things that you get caught in your uh, in your tyres that stay in there for quite a long time. They sort of wear down really. It always sort of worries me that they could eventually push through the uh, the actual tyre itself and puncture it. Certainly when you've got ones stuck in like that. So I always when I take the wheels off. I always spend just a minute or so just digging these uh, digging these things out. I don't know if it does any. I don't know if it makes any difference. It kind of sort of makes me feel better. If that makes sense. Yeah, that one there. Look, you can see that one. That had really sort of dug its way into the uh, into the tread. And as the tread wears out, they sort of get they get deeper and deeper. And there you go, just to prove my point, I don't know if you can see that, I've just found a very small tack or nail in the tyre there. There you go. So that was working its way right into the uh, into the tyre wall there, or the tread. So as, I was, as that was going, wearing down, that was pushing further in, so... Uh, Right, I'm not sure how this video is going to work. Um, I'm not even sure if I'll put it up, to be honest. Cause it's just going to be me talking, just having a little sort of chat. Um, I want to get on and do this, so I'm just going to put set up the camera on a tripod. Um, basically, if you look at the, uh, the brakes here, if you can see down down there, you'll see there's plenty of meat on the pads. It hasn't worn out, but what's happened is just by a poor design and sort of lack of use. If you look around the outside of the uh, the brake disc there you can sort of see that it's becoming very uh, very corroded and that is st just starting to drag on the on the caliper and then when that happens, when it when it's really dragging and it's getting quite hot when you go for an MOT they'll, uh, they'll fail it on the cr excessive corrosion the rear brake discs and then uh, then you have to replace them for the MOT. I haven't reached that stage yet. The guy that does my MOTs is pretty good. I normally just have a, I can have a little chat with him after the um, MOT, and he sort of, you know, I sort of used to say, you know, any any bits that uh, I need to sort of keep an eye on. And he did sort of say, oh, well, the rear discs are getting a little bit, a little bit sort of corroded. Now, when he says that, I know that next year he won't fail it, but uh, depending how bad they are, but yeah. next year they will be. He'll put that as an advisory, and then the following year it will need to be done so uh, just thought I'd do it before it got to that stage and the discs and the pads aren't very expensive not I'm not using genuine parts on this one anymore so I'll be getting rid of it soon so uh, just thought I'd do it so I'm just going to
So that's the new disc on, everything put back, lubricated. And uh, yeah, I'm glad I did it actually. I, I didn't realise that those uh, those pads there had become quite so corroded. Um, it's amazing really, isn't it? I suppose it's just going to get so little use that they uh, they start to sort of corrode up. So we have, well that's it. That should see the... Uh, see sort of my life with the car out, probably see the car out actually, I think these discs probably last another 10 years, I can't see the car lasting uh, that long. So right, I'm going to pack up now and uh, just a couple of hours work I suppose, with a tea break in between, um, probably saved a small fortune at the garage, like I said before, you know, you get ripped off sometimes, but uh, it's also the, um, the sort of knowledge that you've, you know, you've done a good job, um, it's amazing what uh, so even some good garages, you know, forget to do things. I mean, once we, we took our Vauxhall Vectra into Vauxhalls to have a timing belt, tensioner changed, and it came back, and they hadn't secured the car battery. We got about sort of two miles down the road, and uh, all the car cut out, and we called the AA at the time, and when he looked at the bonnet, the car battery had sort of uh, yanked itself forward and ripped off the uh, negative terminal, so the garage hadn't secured the battery. So, you know, it just shows you. But anyway, I'm pleased with that. I'm happy that's done. That should, uh, as I say, see the car. So, thanks for watching it. I know it's a bit boring, me waffling on. <laughs> but that's Fred 2. That's what you get on Fred 2. If you, if you want serious videos and radio stuff, well, there's always Fred 1, isn't there? Anyway, everybody, um, stay safe. Have a, good, have a good time. Look after yourselves. And, of course, I will catch you all on the next one.